Supervisor Haney, it's great to see you. We're here at La Cocina. Tell us about this place and why you picked it. Yeah, well, welcome to La Cocina Marketplace. And there are seven different uh, entrepreneurs who are here, rent-free. Um, and what you, if you looked around here, what you would not know is that this would actually used to be a post office. It was a rundown post office, abandoned post office. La Cocina uh, supports the entrepreneurs here, all uh, women-owned businesses, incredible food, uh, right on the corner of Hyde and Golden Gate. And this was one of the first projects that I was involved with when I became a supervisor. Uh, so it's something that I like to show off to everybody. So you've been supervisor for District 6 for about three years, serving on the Board of Supervisors. You were previously president of the Board of Education in addition to a whole bunch of other roles. Tell us why Assembly and why now? So, you know, I was uh, born and raised by my mom in the East Bay. I uh, went to public schools. Uh, we moved a lot when I was young. And um, I really had the opportunity to see uh, the different challenges that we're facing in our, in our state and in our communities. I've been a pro bono eviction defense attorney. I've been a school board member. I ran the UC Student Association after law school. Uh, I've worked on criminal justice issues as, a, as the head of Cut 50. And now I, I sit now as a supervisor here in San Francisco and also the, the chair of our budget committee. So uh, for the last 15 years, I've dedicated my life to work on those issues and try to bring about change uh, in my community. The district that I represent now is in many ways uh, what happens, the consequences of when California doesn't face the big challenges in front of us, when every community and city in our state is not building housing, when we don't have health care for every Californian, um, when we have massive economic inequality across our state. Um, these are things that, that we, that trickle down to the neighborhoods of, of the Tenderloin and Soma that I represent, where I've been fighting for delivering solutions with mental health SF, with building more housing, with getting people into shelter and place hotels, with cleaning up this neighborhood. Uh, but it can't only be solved here. Uh, we need state leadership. And what's even more true than what was true 15 years ago is that our moment to solve those problems in the, in the state is now. All right. Well, um, the very first thing I did when I was researching for this interview was go to your website. Okay. And I found that there's not uh, there's not a ton of detail about what you want to do when uh, you first get to the assembly. So describe for us your first 30 days. Once you, you know, get your email set up and figure out where the bathroom is, what are you doing? Well, the first thing I'm doing when I get there is I'm meeting with people that elected me. Uh, I think one of the things that we need from our elected officials is we need accountability. We need people who are connected to the folks that they, re they represent. So all of those things, I think, need to be uh, done in close partnership and coordination with uh, the community that I, that I represent. What I do know from representing um, this district and from uh, serving now nearly nine years in local elected office, uh, I've seen a few things, <laughs> and, and one of the things uh, that I've seen uh, is that there are a lot of uh, uh, interventions that we are doing here, particularly in my district, that are not being done elsewhere, and there is an accountability around that. For example, when we went in and we put over 3,000 people in shelter-in-place hotels, uh, that was overwhelmingly in the district that I work, uh, represent, and most other cities and counties didn't do anything at all. And the lack of accountability for not providing homeless services in particular, uh, whether that's shelters or navigation centers or care, building housing, um, that is something that, that we need to build a system and structure of accountability for so that everyone is doing it. What is your hope for San Francisco? I hope that, uh, that San Francisco is a place where uh, more people can be safe, happy, um, that, they, that they want to be here and that they want to be here over the long term uh, because they see a future for themselves here. Uh, I think that one of the things that's, that, that, that makes me sad about how a lot of people feel about San Francisco is that uh, it often is sometimes a, a short-term thing for them, either because they feel like they want to leave or because it's unsustainable, because they get priced out, because the, the, the life, life here and the, the cost of it is so um, expensive that they can't, they can't live here. I love the diversity here. I love the innovation. I love the creativity. Uh, I would love to see that brought together in a way that actually solves our problems. We have a long way to go, uh, but uh, we need the state to, to give us some help. And, and that means not only some investments so that we can do some of these things here, but even to hold us accountable locally. And then also to make sure that they set up 
the infrastructure so that these challenges uh, and the responsibility that it takes to solve them are shared.